Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jelson here and today we're back with a brand new NBA video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about somebody that has been lighting up the Summer League and that is Trenton Watford. Now, I'm recording this as they just played the Summer League Championship and Trenton Watford, well, he won the finals summer league thing mvp and well to say that he performed very well is an understatement that man played very very well and i wanted to go over why he played so well and how this didn't really necessarily surprise me and most portland fans uh probably didn't surprise them either i'm not no portland fan but i would like to consider myself as somebody that likes to watch young players play and trenton watford just so happy to be one of those guys and you'll see throughout my videos it's a lot about young players and players that are coming up and so i can spread the information because i love telling people about players they should pay uh, pay attention to you know and watch on the, you know their league pass team or just watch when they're bored and I think Trenton Watford is one of those guys that you need to pay attention to if you're an NBA fan and want some new action from a young player. Now, Trenton Watford brings a rather new relief to the game. Almost like I said with Ben Matherin, he's not necessarily this great three-point shooter. He's actually not a good three-point shooter at all statistically but I don't want to go too much into stats because it's almost useless when we're talking about a player this young and a player that doesn't get this much run he got some run last year especially when Damian Lillard was out and they were just basically tanking but I wanted to just talk about Trenton Walford as a player and not him as a statistical machine right I wanted to think of him more as what is he going to do in the future and what do I think he can do in the future rather than what he's going to do currently and I want to bring this up and say this right now just because he's not a good three-point shooter right now doesn't mean he can't be a good three-point shooter and that's something that can come along and there's other aspects to his game that are just so special that you don't see in a lot of players that I really, really do enjoy. And it almost outweighs the three-point shooting struggles that he does have at times. And mainly those things that he does very well is defense, man. This man is a very, very, very slept on defender. And he does exactly what a really any team needs out of a solid defender from a wing spot, right? He's going to you know he's gonna lay out his body and he's gonna go get a steal he's gonna go up for a block he's not afraid to jump he's gonna go literally 110 percent on the defensive side of the ball and on top of that he's gonna also go 110 percent on the offensive side of the ball he's a very good uh i would say three and d player because he's not a good three-point shooter but a you know a solid guy that can pick up a bucket in the offensive side of things and then his defense he's gonna lock down some people for a young guy, a guy that was undrafted, this guy is going to be an absolute mammoth on the defensive side of the ball in the next coming years. So do not be surprised when he is in those conversations for maybe not best defender in the league, but one of the best, you know, defending role players. And I think that's pretty much where his ceiling is. I don't see him becoming a star, but I will tell you is that I do see him becoming a high quality role player. And you see a lot of guys coming in on drafted that are just, well, not good enough, but you see a diamond in the rough here and there, and Trenton Wofford is definitely one of those guys, and I'm super excited to watch him play in this upcoming season. I don't know what the expectations are from Trailblazers fans. Y'all have to let me know down in the comments, but from a personal level, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. I think they'll be a play-in team, but I don't know if they'll be a play, like a complete playoff team, especially in this West where it's very competitive, right? I don't think so. I don't I don't think they'll be a straight up playoff team and I don't even know if they'll be a play-in team. So I expect there to be rotational minutes for a guy like Trenton Watford to get some run in the actual NBA like he did last year, maybe to a lesser extent than last year because Damian Lillard was injured and they were basically tanking. But Trenton Watford could at least get a shot at, you know, getting some rotational minutes for a team that I could see could fight for a play-in spot, right? So we'll see what happens with Trenton Watford when it comes to his minutes next year. But just looking at him and watching him play, you can see that he gets 110%. Being undrafted, a lot of these guys come in with a chip on their shoulder, and rightfully so. These guys could be the best basketball players in the league and just so happen to go undrafted, and they will have a chip on their shoulder because of the undrafted you know, tier that they'll be always put over, right? Which is bad. I, I don't like when players just get put in a tier because they were undrafted because guess what? We see a lot of undrafted players become very, very good in this league. So Trenton Wofford, a guy that I'm super excited to watch play here and in the summer league is really showing them. Yeah, 
he can do this. He can play basketball, that's for sure. He can play it at a high level, and nobody is going to stop him from playing at a high level. This is a guy that you need to watch on League Pass. I, I just wanted to make sure this is very clear because it's something that I want people to realize is that League Pass, you know, people say League Pass team because they're going to be fun. I also use League Pass in the sense of, well, you get some young players here that you're going to be able to see develop. And I, I want to use people to use their league pass to maybe not watch a whole game of the Blazers just watch Trenton Watford but maybe just use their league pass to tune in for a couple minutes maybe a quarter or so and just see what he's doing and what the Trailblazers are doing so Trenton Watford is going to be a guy that I'm super excited to watch and I'm excited to see what people think about him after the season and maybe even after the next because he's gonna be one of those guys that you're gonna wish he was on your team you know he might be you know a high quality role player he's not gonna be no star I don't think he could be don't get me wrong he definitely has the upside to become one but i just don't see it quite yet but i see him becoming a high quality role player and i'm really excited to see what he can do and yeah guys as you guys know this is my favorite thing to do i love making videos on young players that deserve more attention and this is another guy so thank you guys for watching if you guys have enjoyed please remember to like subscribe to the Blazers fans please let me know what you think about him in the comment section down below i know a lot of you guys love him and i am on that boat too so, thank you guys for watching. As I said, remember to like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.